unlike insurance, which protects the insured party. A contractor typically purchases a bond to protect the project owner from financial loss. If any problem occurs during the course of executing the project, the owner files a claim with the shorty company, which steps in to ensure the project is completed. In this video, we'll be exploring the basics of construction bonds, such as what is construction bond, parties to construction bond, why contractors need a bond, size of construction bonds, securing a construction bond, risk assessment, claims against a bond. But before we dive into today's video, if you enjoy my content and you hope to see more of this, kindly click on the like button, comment and share. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so as to get notified anytime I drop a new video. With all being said, let's get into this video. What is construction bond? A construction bond is a form of protection for the project owner against non-payment, lack of performance, company default and warranty issues. It is also known as contract bond because they guarantee that the contract order will fulfill the terms of contract. Categories of construction bond We have two, conditional bonds and on-demand bonds. Conditional bonds is a secondary obligation which requires that the client provide evidence that the contractor has not performed the obligation under the contract and they have suffered a loss as consequence. On-demand bond, which is primary obligation. The bondsman pay an amount of money set out in the bond immediately on demand in writing without needing to satisfy any precondition whatsoever unless the demand is fraudulent. Parties to a bond There are three main parties to a bond. The principal. The principal is the person or company purchasing the bond. On most projects, this is usually the general contractor or a subcontractor. Shorty company. Shorty company provides the bond for the project. This is the party responsible for arranging for completion of the contract if the contractor fails to perform. The oblique. The oblique is the party protected by the bond. This party is usually the property owner, public agency or other party requiring the bond. Why contractor needs a bond? Bonds are used on construction projects whenever the owner wants additional financial protection during a project. Why the construction contracts provide a certain level of protection. A breach of contract can be expensive and time consuming to resolve in court. Particularly with large projects, the bond acts as an agreement between the contractor and the project owner, assuring the contractor will fulfill all the terms. Types of construction bond. Performance bond. Performance bond guarantees that the contractor will perform the work according to the conditions and requirements of the construction contract. This bond protects the owner from financial loss as a result of contractor default. 2. Payment bond. Payment bond guarantees the correct payment for services if the contractor goes bankrupt while working on the project. The bond amount will be able to repay the subcontractor and supplier who were working on the project if the contractor is not able to pay them. 3. Bid bond. Bid bond provides reassurance to a project owner that a contractor will follow through with their commitment to complete the job they are bidding on and will provide a final bond backed by a shorty company after the project award. 4. Maintenance bond or warranty bond. This guarantees that the project owner or local jurisdiction that are there will not be fault or defect in a certain improvement for a certain length of time. These bonds are often required when doing work on public infrastructure such as lower line, thumb pipe and water mains. 5. Subdivision bond. This guarantees that a developer or a contractor will make improvement to a land in subdivision as by its agreement with the local jurisdiction. Improvement can include things like sidewalk maintenance, electrical upgrade or grading change. The jurisdiction set the bond amount and how soon the work needs to be completed. If a claim needs to be made, the jurisdiction would be the one filing a claim. 6. Supply bond. This ensures that building supplies or material will be provided to a project. The supplier provides this bond to the general contractor or owner and it protects them from default by the supplier. 7. Retention bond. It replaces the withholding or retainage on construction projects during the project or after the completion, guaranteeing that all work will be completed at the end of the project. Securing a construction bond. When your company needs to purchase a bond, the first place you should start from is a reputable shorty broker. A shorty broker will advise on the best way to submit your program requirement to a shorty company to ensure you receive the best terms and conditions. 
risk assessment. When working with a shorty broker, you will need to provide documentation so that shorty companies can assess how risky you are. The documents include financial statement, work in progress report, organizational structure information, and other documents. This will be this will be analyzed by your broker and submitted to shorty companies that will be the best fit for your business. Claims against a bond. If the work is not completed, the contractor default or payment are not being made. A protected party can make a claim against the bond. After a claim is made, the shorty company will investigate, contacting the principal to verify facts and amount. After a claim has been satisfied, the shorty will then look to the principal for a payment of any losses or expenses as documented in the bond agreement. Until we next, I will be seeing you in another video.